Hello, this is Ultimate Gamer 505 and welcome to the tutorial on beams in Fighter Factory 1.0. For Fighter Factory Ultimate users, um this may not work for you. <clears throat> this is for 1.0. Now, um as you can see, I have a beam here. Now, um this tutorial isn't just for beams now. This is um can be used for nearly any type of uh um sprite you want to put on your character that will cause damage. Now, um, we got to end the group 15. We're going to move to animations. We're going to hit this little plus button right here. We're going to name it Kai Bean. And I'm going to put this in parentheses, Executor. Now, the parentheses you don't really have to do. Now, for the begin action number, I'm going to make one up. Say, 909.10. How about that? Now, um, we're going to look for a sprite, Executor. Okay, here we go. Perfect, right here. Now we're going to set the time to 50. This means he's going to um, be up there for 50 ticks, and then it's going to revert back to normal. Now, we're going to add a blue collision box. So that means while he's doing his move, he can be hurt, because this is not really a super move. You don't necessarily need the blue box, but I would say use it so it wouldn't be so cheap. Now, now that you got this one, you hit the plus button over here again. I did set this to 50, right? What the? Save. Okay, now it's set to 50. Okay, now we're going to have Kai Beam. In parentheses. You don't have to do the parentheses, but I'm going to do it anyway to keep organization. Praj. 909.11. Now, we're going to go to the group that the beam's in. Add air. Now, here it is. The beam. Now we're going to add red collision boxes. So it is an attack. If you don't want it to be an attack, if you just want to just put some kind of animation on your character, uh, you can use uh, explode state. So that'll be very easy. Put another red collision box. Okay, stretch it out a little bit. Now, Fun part. We're gonna add a very, 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 very long collision box. Let's put him here. No, I'll stretch him out some. There we go. Now we stretch it all the way to the end. Hold on, go back some, go back some. There it is. Stretch it way out here. And then finish it here. See? It ends right there. Now, we've done that, I want to tell you one thing. I'm going to show you something for people who don't know how to do this. Okay, see this explosion right here? See how the black around it makes the explosion look really terrible, doesn't it? Well, we can fix that. See this little guy right here? It says Alpha Editor. It's right by the trans, by this little button, by this little blue thing. Alpha Editor with the little person standing in it. Click it. Now, when you click it, this little box, this little window is going to come up. See it? Click no background. Because you don't need one. <clears throat> now see, this alpha editor gets rid of the excess color or the bad color or the bad effects that's around it. And it's called additive. Or additive. See, partial additive, it leaves a little bit of the black. Looks okay. But additive, that gets rid of the bad parts of the effects. See how clear that looks? How clean? It's all cleaned up. You can add that. When you're done, you put insert on all frames and it creates an A trans. Okay, now back to what we were just doing. Okay, so we got a one frame animation. Don't worry about the time on this one. We don't have to worry about that. This one doesn't need a trans because it has no bad sides of the effects and stuff. Okay, so we got him here. CNS. Now, I created this little bar earlier to keep organization. We're going to go to add. Projectiles. Alright, got this set up too. 909.10, state def, animation for the executor, 909.10. Projectile executing the animation. Set this to 1. It doesn't mean animation, it means animation frame. That's kind of a error or something in the thing glitch or something they forgot. But, put 1 since frame of the 
executing animation is this. Projectile executing animation, so anim LM1, which is this right here. If you had two frames, you would put on the one where it executes it. So if there was two frames and then the second frame was when you do it, you put two here. Animation of the projectile is 90911, right here. Explosion animation, forget about that one. Just completely leave that one alone. We're going to put damage 5, so that way every time it hits it does 5 damage. Now we're going to insert it. Now we're going to click right here and click Kai Beam as a comment. Okay, now that we've done this, Proj hit anim. Now, see this Proj hit anim? Turn it to negative 1. Now, below Proj priori priority, put, whoopsie, <laughs> whoops, that was kind of a mix up right there. Okay, sorry. Proj remove time equals, and then we're going to put Proj hits, and then we're going to put Excel. Now put Excel equals zero. We don't want to go anywhere. Now see velocity down here? Right here? Turn that to zero too, because we don't want the beam moving. We don't really want it moving. Now, for the Proj remove time. Alright. Um let's see. Alright, right here. He's gonna hold his fist out for fifty ticks. So for Proj remove time, type in fifty. Now Proj hits equals this is how you want to put this for 100. Proj hits equals 100 means it does one hit for every tick, I guess. Proj move times equals 50, so it's going to do 50 hits. Now we've done that. Go to offset, which is right here in the green. Now we're going to go to this little ruler up here. It says offset view. Click it. Now, um, go to 909.10, so we're standing like here. Go to 909.11 for the beam frame you can select whichever frame we only got one frame here now you want to position it right in front of the um fist so let's try fifth no let's see forty nine 